poor people and I push the rich to do things for the poor. Okay. Sawa. If you don't know leo tumeanza na, na luxurious panties ikipewana peanwa peanwa anyway mahali tu hapo by one mauzo brown sasa tumefika hapa eh hey, but tunaendelea tu in the beginning tulianza na grash ya maingi tukacheza game tukashinda by the way junior says that we are <laughs> yes i love such to end the with a conversation about teen pregnancies like we did last week this is basically part 2 tuliona ni kama hatukumaliza point vizuri yes so we will try and collect ourselves pia ni kama stories pashika na ni kama amkuniambia black ilikuwa memo but we'll get to that later my name is valentine or at color me that and you are watching why in the morning you're possibly soon to be favorite breakfast show I believe it. I really do. Uh, somebody give me an amen. Prof, ni pe amen. <laughs> At white for Facebook, white for channel on X, white for underscore channel on the gram. Karibu ni sana. Hi guys, how are you? Hello. Muna ka fiti buwana. Chata ka nikai vizuri ni wangale. Look, very lovely ladies. Thank okay. you. Welcome back to the show. But for the people who are just seeing you maybe for the first time, what is your good name? I'll start with you. Mm -hmm. My name is Aldo Swambai, mm -hmm. a student from Kenya Institute of Mass Communication, mm -hmm. uh, doing journalism and mass communication. Mm -hmm. yeah. Any special talents? Do you dance? Do you <laughs> sing? Mm -hmm. I'm the two-legged feet person. Ah! So, no, I don't. Okay. Because <laughs> kusonga to you, are moving with your internal yes, organs. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and you are? My name is Masi Mwende. I'm uh -huh. the founder and director of Nipe Tabasamo na Upeno. Mm -hmm. I'm also nominated at the FOIA Awards, but the guys vote for, vote for me. Um, category Kenya over 30, Social Fund of the Year. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. How do we vote for you? Um, just go to foyerawards.com and then um, you're able to see how you, there's a process for voting. Yes, C category is um, Social Fund of the Year, over 30. My name is Masi Mwende. Hey, yeah, kila kitu siya kila mtu. Mime isinge kuwa na watu hamunge pumua. If it was me, yo, 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 yo. She's saying it with so much humility. Inge kuwa tu ni mime, makosa. All right, I want to read a couple of comments here mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. our page. Uh, remember, we're talking about teen pregnancies. I think generally just pregnancies in short, but uh, we will teen itengia tu hapo mahali. Inisawa, all right. So I see Jacqueline, eh, tumaita Jackie sana kaitika. Jacqueline, Jacqueline Kerry says good morning from Lamo represented. I see you, Abuja says from Eldama Ravine. Sam Chris says they are in Karanja. Says, hi, Grasha. Uh, Grasha, Mike, imagine I can't stop. Hey! Acha, kwa zata ni screenshot ni mutumie direct. Give it. Grasha, umepata mutu. Umeoneka niwa. It is a good day to watch by in the morning. Boni Kunati says, Kunati Meru Massive Njani. James Toffa says, greetings, Grasha. Well, we presented. Rich Zuri, kwa zame tupigia po kaforo. You look very nice, sir. King Joe says, Balozi wa Amani, Africa Mashariki. Na fatilea kutoka Ndebe. I see you, Rich Zuri, again. Willie Bazo says, watching live from Kitale, eh, Taimusi 2. Uh, Spana says, greetings. Walk, Walker says, a very good morning from Kitui West Side, the Kango, Kangondi village. <whistles> Kidogo ni nini? Ni. Eh. Okay, sawa. All right. What are you here for to to king? Yes, the the point of the show. So the last time we were talking about this, we mm -hmm. we were borrowing from your experience as a new mom. And yeah. I hope you don't mind if we continue to do. I so. don't mind at all. All right. To answer to from the point to go to number two, we start from the known to the unknown. Mm -hmm. So the known is we're talking about teen pregnancies, and I just want to read something that I have seen that I feel is a nini. So, it's, this is from a website, I'll explain later, but this is what it says. It is clear that being a child of a teenage mother often entails numerous risk, low birth weight, complications of the mother's pregnancy and delivery and health problems associated with poor perinatal outcomes, greater risk of perinatal death, lower IQ, and academic achievement later on, etc., etc., etc. Do you think this holds water? <laughs> what are we supposed to say here? There's no right or wrong answer. Do you yeah. think this holds water? Yeah, I think. I mm. think it does. Because 
we actually mentioned it last time mm. that when it comes to a teenager having to give birth to a child, definitely her body is not fully developed. Mm. So her pelvic giddle can still not hold the baby, you know. And then it comes to giving birth, there's a lot of struggle and diseases and mm -hmm. there's a lot of risking, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And even when it comes to education later on, when a child maybe will continue the education after giving birth. It won't be the same because you are you are too depressed. You're a mom, first of all. Mm -hmm. You're thinking about breast breastfeeding your baby. Mm -hmm. You're thinking about um, you're thinking about Yeni. You know, you're just attached to your baby. She, she, I know. You, yeah, I think that's how it is. You know, definitely. like for a mother, you are very much attached to your baby. So every mm -hmm. time, wherever you are, you're just thinking about your baby. So it won't be the same. So yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling about when you see? Yeah, actually, um, giving birth as a really young person, just as she has said, your organs are not fully developed uh, because um, when you're pregnant, your body really gets to stretch a lot. And um, when you're a baby mm -hmm. and you're giving birth to a baby, um, your organs are still not in capacity to hold that child. Mm -hmm. um, I'd say the, complication, the complications will be there and also the aftermath. Um, for example, mom brain, um, it won't be the same as she said when you go back to school because uh, your body has changed, your mind has changed, you have a lot of things to focus on, definitely will be disrupted most of the time because you're thinking about your baby and yeah, so there are those things and then sometimes also I feel like um, teenage pregnancy, when they're giving birth, uh, when people give birth when they're really young, sometimes we have deaths. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of bleeding, we have such things, and it's just not so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the way you put it. Very diplomatic. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, Professor, one prof, hi prof, how are you? Uh, he brought out a very interesting question. Mm -hmm. We were all quite a little bit surprised that, that he has asked it, but I feel like it's warranted, especially for this particular conversation. Mm -hmm. So I'm reading from a, a blog on it's not on blog, it's on Instagram. Okay, Naswama. As my Warren surprises his 19 year old girlfriend with me with a house as a push gift. So, so yeah. his argument was teen, nine, teen. Yeah. So, but only teen. Yeah, we but only teen. Yeah. So, me, I'm talking to him best like Bella Numba. So, be serious. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Are we glorifying these things now? I don't know. Sometimes. Mm. You know, after 18, mm -hmm. you're just allowed to make your own choices. And, yeah. I, and I think for them, it's a choice they made. So no, no, for them, it's a choice yeah, they it's made. A, it's a choice they made. So that one, I can't be, you know, because yes, she's a teen, uh -huh. she's young. She still would have given herself a chance to grow a little bit. But it's a choice she made. Mm -hmm. It wasn't, I don't oh. think, yeah. So. <laughs> So kuna consent yeah, exactly. as, as long as they yeah. uh, you are above 18. Yeah, Ataka you... mauli consent to kiwa under 18, iyo ni makosa. Ah, uh, uh, na uh, consent. Uh, <laughs> how do you consent? <laughs> <laughs> I can't come here. Uh -huh. 17, I don't think you, you have the right to. Uh -huh. 17, you might have to go somewhere where... Um, Probably, you know how you have to talk to the parent before you talk to the kid if there is anything that is about to go viral. Mm -hmm. At 17, I'll still consider talk to your mother before I talk to you. So, mm -hmm. consent. Ad adult presence. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Unless you're 18 with your ID, we won't ask. Uh -huh. yeah. So, you need to be able to vote. Yes. Uh, in Kenya, 18 is also the legal age for drinking. Yes. Uh, driving peer. So, mm. more to organize all responsibilities. Yeah. Okay, so money is not playing uh, a part here. So if I was 17, I have consented. Mm -mm. My body, my choice. <laughs> I will go get the best healthcare possible. I know. Uh -uh. Mm. 17, uh, 18, uh, 18, uh, before 18, I was going to go to the NHF. I was going to go to the NHF. I was going to go to the NHF. I was going to Mm. But I think also the world we live in now, because if you compare to our time, 19, you're still considered a baby. I mean, even yeah. 20, 21. I think also there's a difference on the times we are living in. This time, the time we are living in, Thai, eh? but also they are making their own choices even at that, that age. Because um, if I try and compare to our time, 
it will be a bit different. Okay. Yeah, but right now things are a bit different. Uh, but she's she's 19 and I can't really say much about it. But yeah. as as long as <laughs> it's 19. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I see. I see. Mm -hmm. Before we branch into other countries, let me ask you. Eh? So, Unajua, there was a time. I don't know if it was. I can say it's a very long time ago, but mm -hmm. there was a time. Did you come anywhere? Ni wazazi wetu, apana, wazazi wao sasa. Mm -hmm. When you were like, no, lewa at 16. Yeah, yeah. That time it was taboo for a girl to go, you know, study. Yeah, yeah. So you are being bred for marriage, mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. Kazi tu ni kuambiwa, eh, fanya hivi, mwanaume nafaa kufanyua hivi, ukusha pata watoto, nafaa kufanya hivi. You know, basically being taught how to take care of a home. Yeah. So at the time, people were getting married to older people by let's say 18 ushaolewa na ushaana kuolewa immediately now you start procreating because mm -hmm. uh, your concept of birth control and other contraceptives was not really a thing yeah. at the mm -hmm. time mm -hmm. family yeah. planning was was not there yeah so she dai ko api sai ama do to to kona whatsapp to to kona instagram to kona twitters eh now now is problem i mm -hmm. think uh, right now mm -hmm. uh women are more empowered uh -huh. you know in that very in, in that time when it was all about you are being given birth as a child as a as a woman mm -hmm. for the sake of being taught how to raise a home mm -hmm. and if that is your purpose mm -hmm. you have nothing else mm -hmm. but later on after years women started getting empowered mm -hmm. now they started realizing that education you know so sir, I am putting more effort on myself to a point that marriage and kids and making a home kind of comes later mm -hmm. after I have created myself. I think that is just what happened. Women just got empowered. Mm -hmm. yeah, and it was now about me as a person. Mm -hmm. Like I have a purpose outside marriage and kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is not the end goal in life. Yeah. It is no longer a rite of passage. Like kujakuwa mwanamke kabla kuja. There are people who are even allowed to live child free. Marriage is a choice. Mm -hmm. Kids are a choice. Mm -hmm. We're just empowered. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we understand that it's normal to want to live differently, you uh -huh. know, yeah. Okay, so just so that we're using your science, mm -hmm. we have moved from the age of, you know, getting married at a very early age, starting mm -hmm. a family, because of choice. Yeah, it's a choice. Not that kulikuwa na shida. So it was okay to get married and get pregnant then? When? As a teen. <laughs> when healthcare was not even properly, you know, we, we didn't really know about, like, we were just, I think we were just winging it to Kistamatu Kweli. <laughs> well, I'd say at this time and age, we are a bit informed mm -hmm. because it's, uh, during our parents' time, um, first of all, they were not educated. Mm -hmm. The boys were being taken to school by the girls, were left at home to do um, home duties. So during our time now, we are educated. Now we can see our lives beyond just being a housewife, just, you know, giving birth and just taking care of the home. Mm -hmm. We are now seeing ourselves as career women. Mm -hmm. We are now seeing ourselves as women who can change the society in one way or another and still be able to have a family. Mm -hmm. But again, if you don't want a family, because right now people are child free. Yeah. People decide if they wow. want to get married or not. Did you not. just say child free like, yeah. like you were saying hands free? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. Uh -huh. I have met people who, are, who have told me, you know, me, I don't want to give birth. And that is who they are. Ever. ever. This is a choice they have made. This is a choice they have made. Yeah. Hey. So well, I think. <laughs> you want to tell us something? You want to tell us something on that? No, it just it's true, Junior you Kelly. You yeah. know, we are no longer under the pressure of by twenty something or by something you're supposed to be married and having kids. Yeah. No, you can just choose to not get married not have kids and nothing you have na he no health problem you're just okay you're doing okay you're doing fine mm -hmm. but i don't want to have children mm -hmm. and i don't want to get married i mm -hmm. just want to be me mm -hmm. like, just working on myself for the rest of my life something of the sort and maybe tour the world and do a lot of other things mm -hmm. I just yeah okay what I'm hearing is uh, exactly. and to make that stand and mm. refuse to be pressured by peers or any other 
Tom, Dick or Harry. Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. Apa kwa teen pregnancy, to may conclude that, eh? so if I have money, I have the capacity and I have the village to help me take care of this child. Ama ni kondani ya ndoa, under 18. <laughs> There's someone to help me take care of the child. It is okay. If it happens by accident, oops. If the pregnancy <laughs> comes by accident, uh -huh. then raise the baby. Uh -huh. Raise the baby. But if it is consensual, you have to decide. Like women, when I am 17 years old, and may decide, I want to give birth, I want to get married. Mm. 17. Mm. Please don't. Please, please don't. Please don't. 17. Yeah. Your money doesn't make your body that is 17 to be 25. Wow. Yeah, so. Don't. Don't. Okay, how are yeah. you feeling about that? You yeah. feel very strongly about it too. As long as I have the capacity, is it okay? Actually, it's, it's okay. Um, I'd say it's, it's really not okay because um, at the same time, remember you're just a baby. You've just uh, transited to adulthood. Mm -hmm. You also want to explore yourself. You're also trying to understand yourself. So I'd say just give yourself time to at least know who you are, understand yourself and the dynamics of this life before you try and want to give back to someone else into this life. Um, but as she said again, if it happened, then just raise the baby. But if it was consensual, you know, just just give yourself time. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. Me and my boyfriend have decided. No. Mm -hmm. Bonnie and Clyde, mm -hmm. we are in this together mm -hmm. forever. <laughs> we are in love. Sometimes they also Wait. feel it's peer pressure because yeah, people definitely. are like, you know. And then also the thing of, well, uh, people say that if you give birth early, mm. your body is gonna snap back, snap back <laughs> yeah. very fast. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, yeah, there are those things. But yeah. I think also there are maybe myths and misconceptions because all bodies are different. I mean, just give yourself time, give yourself some grace. Mm -hmm. At least know yourself, know mm -hmm. how to take care of yourself before you want to bring someone else. Because I'm telling you, raising a baby is not a walk in the park. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, if allow me to borrow from your experience. Yeah. How did you have to discover yourself all over again after you were given birth? What, what did that journey look like? Yeah. Um, you, 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 you rediscover yourself, and then this baby gets to teach you a lot of things um, in life. First of all, um, they will teach you how to love someone unconditional. I mean, whether they are being good where they are crying the whole night mm -hmm. you just have to love that baby so there is that part of discovering that part of yourself that you didn't know i didn't know i'm, I'm really patient you know because in my previous life before i have a baby how mm. uh, nanga patient like i mean mm -hmm. but now when you get a baby they teach you how to be patient mm -hmm. they teach you how to be more gentle with life they teach you how to sort of persevere some things mm -hmm. and then also you just get to discover yourself and you know um, discover yourself in different di dimensions actually because they bring out different characters from you that you didn't know you have mm -hmm. yeah is it possible that they, it could also enhance the not so good yeah, characteristics exactly, exactly. of myself yes yes because sometimes especially um, the part of being patient if you're having this kid who's crying the whole night you can also get agitated and you want to like why are you cry mm -hmm. I mean you're fed I've breastfed you mm -hmm. what else do you want tell mm -hmm. me you know so there is also that but and, and I think that is also what goes into what we call postpartum depression whereby you feel like this baby has robbed you your time. This baby has robbed you your, maybe your life. Maybe you want to be out there with your friends, but you can't, you know, also because they limit you. You have to be there in the house for three good months without mm -hmm. leaving the house, just taking care of this baby. So there is that part of, at some point, um, and that's what I'm saying, for, for the young girls, you just live your life fast. Mm -hmm. So that you don't come and think, Akesai, Kasium Toi, Nige Kwali Menda. Mm. So there are those things that will come. Um, I look different. I feel like I hate myself. Mm -hmm. So there are those two things that come after. 
you give birth. Mm -hmm. So knowing yourself and also being ready for this kid, accepting mm -hmm. that you're now a mother is very important. So that as these changes come, you learn to embrace them and to just work on doing, for example, if it's body change, work on maybe the body you like later or just work on yourself. If um, you realize you're depressed, you get to talk to someone, you get to get someone to assist you with the baby, for example. Because mm -hmm. honestly, also doing it alone, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And well, as that was mentioned, you have a, a very significant age gap with your your sibling. Yeah. So basically, unasaidia kulea pia na wewe. Definitely. Do you feel like you're ready for that challenge to have your own toddler? No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> that no. So, yes, I am not. No, I am still children. Why? Walk me through your thought process. Why? Um, for example, if, let's say, uh, I was 17, like you said, mm -hmm. and I decided that I'm now ready for marriage and kids. Mm. Not deciding. I think, mm -hmm. I thought to myself that I'm now ready for marriage and kids. I would have missed a lot, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. I would have missed a lot. So, say, there's a lot of things I know when I, after finishing high school, you know, having that little time to just think about yourself before joining campus, and then, in com and then coming to campus and meeting new people, mm -hmm. and having to experience a lot of different things, and learning in a lot of different ways, and also starting to recognize things about your purpose you know this is what i want to do and this is how i want it to be done things like that and now with the mentorship that i get as a campus student i'm able to understand what i want in mm -hmm. a man if i'm looking for one mm -hmm. and what i don't imagine if i gave birth at 17 mm -hmm. i would have missed all of that mm -hmm. and i think i still have a lot more to learn mm -hmm. yeah i still have a lot of, a lot more to, uh, to learn and mm -hmm. new people to meet and a lot of experiences to mm -hmm. experience, so no, I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> it's the no for me. Yeah, You're so convinced. Yeah, Let me ask you guys. Ujai ka tu katanganikiwa na mwanaume, ukasema, ah, this is something, by the way, based on trivens. Personal experience. Ata ki personal, mi ni kama sijai penda ju, kibenya li kwa ni explain ya, basi ni kama, yeah. Hey, anyway, so they're telling me, yeah, Maliza, Maliza Shule. No, Pia, there's, there's, a, there's a way people are finishing, you know, uh, what's this called? High school mm -hmm. at a very young age. Yeah. So, Mali, maybe watu alikuwa na... Do you remember there's a time watu alikuwa na kamba o baba wa watu na wako form two? I know. Mm -hmm. Eh. Eh, wana shanga, nini? So now you'd find someone maybe who's just finished form four, 16. Mm -hmm. Udapata maybe an, ndio naingia 17. Just, you know, teen, that's not 18. Like, yeah. under... The, the the legal age of, of making choices that are, are heavy, heavy, mm -hmm. heavy in this lifetime. Eh? Aya, ukae tu hivi kabla yungie campus, uu, ati ya fall in love, uu, akaona tu wa mzalie. Amempenda sana, <laughs> yani ya kaona mzalie. Si choice, si ati tulika tukaongea, ama tuzae, should we start a family? If we start a family, how are we going to do that? Ah, ni mapenzi tu ni muambia, ama ni mshikie mimba. Eh, si 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 ya ndelea kuexplain maali yako sahi, but she's learning it's not, it's not as easy as she thought it was. Yeah. Yeah, all because of love. So not happen in the way it's an key on a matter of Let me tell you. <laughs> never put yourself in a situation where what you are doing. Ama and come to touch an imzali. Ama kuna in yana samanga suni pet to come moja. Come moja come moja. So Mimi, I <laughs> <laughs> <She> got chills. <laughs> <laughs> so Mimi, I give birth for you. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not giving birth because I want to. It's not for myself. It's because of you. It's because you love them. Na me tisha. Ah ah. Ni kama anasema anataka chapo. So when the YouTube, when the YouTube wants to do a kupika chapo, but to kupika chapo, chapo ya malenge. Ah ah. Yes, so anataka mutoto. Eh, yes, so anataka mutoto. Usema ama. I just want to tell you, never, as a woman, as we said, we're empowered. In a job, we have been, we're educated. Don't put yourself in a situation where you're giving birth for a man. Because when you're going to be ready, you're not mentally, emotionally, physically, you're not ready. So I'm just doing this for him because I love him. Mm. And what guarantee is it that after 10 years, and not 
Okay. Not in a bad way. It's okay. But <laughs> Safe space. Uh -huh. After 10 years, what guarantee do you have that that man will be there? Mm -hmm. It's not a guarantee. Mm -hmm. So, and if he won't be there, you have the child and you give birth to it for him. Mm -hmm. If you have to give birth to a child, let it be you. Ata kama you're in a marriage and whatever, let it come from you. It's me. I want a baby. Now let's come together because we both want a baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. It's going to come out of the <laughs> Do you have a friend who did this? Todo, you are speaking more. <laughs> I know you'll suffer. <laughs> because yeah. it's, 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 really it's not a guarantee. Yeah, it's not a, guarantee. Yeah. a man won't be there. Uko shua kama. Kama ni boyfriend. Mm. You just fell in love for three, four, five months, one mm. year. And now you think you know each other better enough to just mm. give birth because that guy wants to. But he said he loves me. No, he doesn't, my love. He doesn't. <laughs> he a doesn't. cautionary tale. Yeah, he doesn't. <laughs> I find <laughs> out. <laughs> well, I'll uh -huh. say, of course, um, I'll start with my pains you confused me too. I mean, mm. all of us have been confused by love at one point or another, mm -hmm. by the way. But the good thing about it is that right now we are a bit informed. Right mm. now we, ha we are able to access information out here, even of people's previous experiences. And so, can we just learn from that? And um, yeah, just learn from that. Learn from people, by mm. the way. What when you have new experience? Because we have a lot yeah. of experiences out here. And we have always understand. It's always the excuse. <laughs> yeah, you guys don't understand. He's my man. Yeah. My man. My, my man. man. My man. Yeah. My man. Mm. Yeah, just learn from people's experiences. At least right now, we are informed. Know what you want as a woman. And for the first time, women, can we just put ourselves first? Mm -hmm. You know, it's not always about the man, by the way. Mm -hmm. Can you just put yourself first and know what you want for yourself before you accept Kuzale mm Manome? -hmm. Just put yourself first. Know what you want yourself mm -hmm. and for your life. Mm -hmm. And then from there now, you're able to make the right decisions. So I mm -hmm. think that's what I'll say. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what I'm hearing is there's, there's a lot of self awareness, first of yeah. all, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. and a lot of. There's no for falling in love, you're walking into it. You mm -hmm. know, caution. <laughs> <laughs> caution, <laughs> Marie. <laughs> we'll talk after this. Um, you, you look like you have a, <laughs> a, a vault of information. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, uh, I used to hear stories of Astana on a trap one of Namimba. Trap, mm -hmm. quotes yeah. in quotes, unquote, because it takes two to tango. So, me, okay. That's a story for another day. <laughs> but now I am hearing the opposite is also true. Although this idea of trapping, the, the science, the biology in the trapping is the one that's I'm a little bit but confused it, it, about it. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I think it's true because there are people in your Nasema at you. guarantee after one year, ma several months later, I fall in love. Nam I fall in love. Nam chumengi ne. Uh -huh. what do I do? I make sure I've gotten her pregnant so that she sticks around. Okay. Yeah, because you know, when, uh, exactly. So because if I have your baby, you know, we are connected. The like for life. For, for life. life. I couldn't know for life my, sentence. For life. That's why we think at um, for, that's for men. Um, so then kisha kuzalisha. I'm now like, you know, you're not mine. There's nowhere you're going uh -huh. because no one will want you with a baby, uh -huh. you know. And for women, it's like, you know, that guy has a lot of money. Uh -huh. hmm? Because, mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's like that. Apo me tika raka, whoa, come, there's something there. Uh -huh. You know, this guy has a lot of money mm -hmm. and I need to keep him, you know. Whoa. So how am I going to keep him? Pregnancy. Okay. I get pregnant for him because he can't know Najua. Is it okay to talk about people? Money will be flowing uh -huh. for ladies. It's about mostly it's about Allowance. money. Uh, yeah. Money. Am I this guy is too good? Am I he's good? He's vulnerable or he's all those kind of things? You know, the description boyfriend. exactly. Mm. No, because I want you to be mine for life. I'm giving birth to your child. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which is very bad mm -hmm. because yeah. you are there for a reason. You you're not even in love with this person. Uh -huh. yeah, you're just there for a reason. We work better when you're not going to be saying, "Gina, what will happen?" Yeah, we are now. 
<laughs> She's tired. How are you feeling about it, Nancy? Do you think those well, these dynamics are making sense? Yeah, actually what she has said are like support. Um, and say sometimes even for women it can be different reasons. Maybe not the money, maybe you know, na, ah, who chali in atakani or but maybe yeah, how you call uko. And so for that guy to marry you, what do you do? You get pregnant for him. And same case with men. Maybe they want to marry you and a German woman will be hey, Miss Corey, Miss Corey. Then they will go party. Mm. Yes. And then give you your goal. So. <laughs> <laughs> the reference. Yeah. <laughs> Where? Yeah. The so reference. I really. Okay support what she says. Mm -hmm. mm. So here the child has become a, a weapon. Yeah. yeah. We are, to I mean, connect these two people. But I don't think you love that child as mm -hmm. much as you're supposed to as a mother. Mm -hmm. Because she's the child is there. Wolim Zako Sababu you had an aim. Nice to shop at her aim. I don't know. Exactly. Unaisho me kasirika mtoto for the rest of your life, mm -hmm. and it's a mistake you mm -hmm. made personally. Or even sometimes the dad decides to still leave you. No me, me. Funny you kazi yote. Imagine. Imagine. So you live a very frustrated life. Pango ovulation days. Yeah. Mm. Safe days. Mm -hmm. Imagine. Okay. Very unfortunate. Makosa. And yeah. then should all this happen when you're under 18? Now there's a, there's a whole other thing because you're still other. going through yeah. puberty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, but you're still growing vertically. Nini, nini, your, <laughs> yeah, your, your brain is still trying to struggle to develop. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's all that. I love for Imagine. Mm -hmm. Okay. It can be. It's at 17, sad, actually. that man is supposed to be arrested. It's against the law. Yeah. Yeah. kuwa <laughs> lawyer. Or, or an <laughs> activist of some sort. You're very passionate about these yeah. things. <laughs> All right, as we wind up, because mm. I, I really think our time is not on our side right now, uh, what would you, let me start with you, Masi. Mm -hmm. What would you like to tell uh, a, a new mom? Let's put age aside for a little bit, but yeah. what would you like to tell a new mom? All right, for all the new moms out there, mm. first of all, what you're holding is a blessing. Um, no matter the procedure it came with or through. Um, what I will tell you is um, just try as much as you can to embrace your motherhood journey because um, there are so many people out here who just want to be blessed with a child, but they have not, and they have tried for years and years and years. So consider yourself a blessed woman. You won't be so blessed. Embrace your journey and just accept, self-acceptance, accept that you're a mom. And then now once you accept anything that comes your way, whether you'll be able to handle it because you've already accepted that I'm going to nurture this child. Yeah? And then also just remember to take care of yourself. I mean, remember to um, have some time for yourself. Sometimes us as new mom, we get babies and we forget about ourselves. You know, it's all about the baby, the baby, the baby. From Monday to Monday, it's the baby. Mm -hmm. So please have someone to help you and also remember to take care of yourself because your mental health is very important. Your overall health is very important, physical, emotional. So you have to really take care of yourself and take care of that baby. A happy baby is a happy mother. I mean, a happy mother is a happy baby. So mm -hmm. yeah, just do anything you can to ensure um, you take care of yourself and you take care of your baby. You're so blessed to be a mom. Please don't take that for granted. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Mom of the year. There's someone who's my director, not just someone. Hi, Benjamin. Good morning. He's brought something to the table, but I feel like you've already answered the insinuation to sort of question. Mm -hmm. At some point, that if by mistake, if makosa tu ifanike tu mahali, I have so many things to say, but atatu atatu nizi constrict. Makosa ifanike mahali, mesema watu tuale. Just so termination is not. Hey, Masi Ako. Termination is not an option. Mm. Yeah. Just if it happens by mistake. And that is why last week, Chile, we were saying they should introduce contraceptives in school. 
Wacha kusema mtoto ni mdogo sana au ukisema hivi unawafunza tabia mbaya. You basically basically when I should be knowing about contraceptives. Mm -hmm. So if I'm sexually active, I should be able and allowed to use them because they have I have been taught, mm -hmm. you know. Now most of the time the reason why we're having most pregnancies at an early age it's because they're sexually active but parents and teachers are not open to co having those kind of conversations mm -hmm. so if it happens at whatever age at like i'm 12 mm -hmm. <laughs> please don't terminate the baby mm -hmm. it, it it just happened so whatever happens happens just take that baby raise that baby with a lot of love and for families, for mothers and fathers, support your children at those situations. Mm -hmm. Because it gets worse when I'm pregnant at 16, I will exhaust myself because I'm pregnant and there's nothing I can do about it. But what happens when I go home to my parents and they start calling me names, abusing me, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to get depressed. I'll ask advices from my friends and they'll tell me things like, you know, there's another option, you know. Now it's not healthy even for yourself. Actually, with an abortion, you can die, you know. Mm -hmm. So, there, it's at those moments where you're supposed to, and friends, our friends, our friends who get pregnant, stop telling your friend termination is an option. Peleka, that girl to whoever, I believe schools have counselors. Let the counselor talk to the girl and then let the counselor talk to the parents yeah. because yes parents will come around but after a while you know after i'm abuse all that they want and you're depressed and you may conda and everything and you have a pregnancy so for parents support kids with who are pregnant for friends to support kids in schools mkwena counselors penye if i'm pregnant and there's nothing i can do but i have come to a realization that i'm okay with having this baby but now i need someone someone's help an mm -hmm. adult yeah okay so Very if it happens uh -huh. whether 13 14 15 16 17 it that baby is yours yeah mm -hmm. it's yours absolutely okay first yeah. of all kind disclaimer we are not doctors <laughs> kindly we are not in the medical field we are not religious leaders no we are, not. We are just uh, girls and we're having a conversation so please please understand these are just thoughts yeah kindly yeah. <laughs> let us not let us not trigger you in any way possible kindly we are just having conversation and you are more than welcome to participate on our social media handles one last time your name and your handle so that we can follow you uh, my name is Lucy Mbai uh, mm -hmm. on our social media platforms yeah mm -hmm. and you are my name is Masi Mwende um, Mwende Masi on Instagram but um, for my organization Tabasamo na Upendo and please, please, please vote for me at foyerawards.com as the social fund of the year. Thank okay. you. Thank you so very much, ladies, for coming back. I hope to have you again. And I hope we'll be talking about lighter things next yeah. time. Although education is power, guys. No, yeah. no one can take knowledge from you. Okay? My name is Valentine, and I will now like to surrender the rest of the show to one Grasha Mengi with a very, very interesting conversation that I truly believe you do not want to miss. Don't go away. <laughs>